Uh, to me, cross culture is a day where we gather students, uh, both in youth groups and university, together, uh, and they get to experience worship and compassion and justice and everything all comes together in one day. It's, it's a day where young people can um, come together from different churches, uh, all kinds of different backgrounds, um, and make connections between the God they worship and um, the way that they serve God and serve other people. Collaboration has happened through cross-culture from the very beginning. Um, it was a joint effort among students and youth pastors and student life workers at Redeemer, all for um, making a difference in the city. So for us, cross culture is a huge blessing because it makes it possible for a small inner city church to be involved in something that usually would take a lot more coordination and finances and resources than what we have available. I think the more that we can get involved in the city, the more students can be exposed to what Hamilton looks like, um, the more it kind of leaves a mark on their heart and they're able, better able to understand who they're serving and, and what exactly cross-culture is. I think it, it opens their eyes um, to a bigger picture of the city that they may not have experienced yet. With those experiences that they've seen, they've been able to have their eyes open to the reality of, of poverty and injustice right here in Hamilton. I, I saw it as a great way to um, help our youth, young adults, get connected with what's going on with the different um, social agencies in the city and to expose them to just the opportunities that were out there. Homestead really values the cross-culture group. Um, first of all, it's a great learning opportunity for youth to come alongside and spend the day with our residents learning about mental illness and seeing what it's like to live on Ontario disability. Secondly, it's a great opportunity for them to serve. They can come alongside and work on a work team, maybe doing gardening or cleaning, and also have fun, so maybe playing board games with the residents and getting to know them. Cross-culture has also benefited us in, in the sense that um, it's allowed us to do some things around our church and in our neighborhood with lots of people who wouldn't otherwise be there. Sometimes people have come to Cross-culture and, and Bethany's been the beneficiary of some of their service. Pretty much every year we've tried to find a different way that Cross-culture has been able to bless our church and it's amazing the impact that, it, that it's had on our ability to do ministry. One student went to the Olive Branch to volunteer at a soup kitchen handing out lunch and at that point she wasn't a Christian um, but she would attribute cross-culture as being a part of her faith journey because she saw the love of Jesus in action through her peers that day. After going to cross-culture I, I made this realization that m maybe, maybe <laughs> I should go and live amongst people that need God. It's something so simple but yet bam. Um, I have a leader that that started coming to Cross Culture with us and serving in one of the agencies and he was so impacted by his experience there spending a few hours on a Saturday cleaning up mess that he applied to start working there and has worked there for over three years now. That there's more than just what's going on in their family and school but there's this broken world in desperate need of a savior and in desperate need of their resources and no, their abilities that God's blessed them with. I believe it makes a, a deeper impact that is, is gonna be something long-term in their lives, that they understand a compassion is not so much something they go and do one day, it's something that is part of who they are as Christ followers. And for us to be able to train the youth and to instill in them the need to serve others at a, at a young age, um, I think is, is it's integral. We could talk about, you know, it's important for us to clothe the naked or feed the, um, the hungry or take care of the sick, but until you're really recognizing who those people are in your community and acting on it, um, it's just talk. There's, there's nothing that comes out of that. And then Cross Culture does a good job of worshiping, talking, and moving. Cross Culture provides you with an opportunity to experience and encounter the poor and the broken. I'm confident that you will experience and encounter God in the midst of that and he will shape you and make you better simply for that. Amen.